The U.S. threat to withhold its annual $1.5 billion aid to Egypt after Mohamed Morsi's ousting angered many in Egypt. Those who toppled Morsi argued that U.S. President Barack Obama was taking sides. The U.S. always wants a president who has allegiance to her policies and targets. Morsi ticked the boxes perfectly. That is why political forces refused to meet William Burns in his last visit. They said the U.S. administration conspired with the Brotherhood for mutual benefit, not for the good of the country. Documents leaked in Cairo last week have fueled this suspicion. Their authenticity has not been confirmed, but they purportedly detail phone calls between Morsi's backers and the Muslim Brotherhood and American officials, including Ambassador Ann Patterson, and allegedly show America has funded and encouraged the Brotherhood. The American Embassy is not commenting. These documents which the military claims are credible show that the U.S. was desperately defending the Islamist Ali because Morsi guaranteed the security of Israel by neutralizing Hamas, a wing of the Muslim Brotherhood, in its conflict with Israel. It was a major setback for the U.S. to see Morsi deposed. Washington has stressed it does not take sides but wants to protect democracy in Egypt. On the other hand, the Muslim Brotherhood strongly criticized the United States for not intervening to protect the democratically elected president. And several pro-Morsi demonstrations targeted the U.S. Embassy. Morsi supporters accused Obama of bankrolling the forces that brought the president down. They're citing State Department documents obtained by an American journalism college investigative reporting program at Berkeley in California. The U.S. funded NGOs that organized the demonstrations that led to demonstrations that led to a military coup. They want a secularist in power against the will of the people who freely elected an Islamist. It's a war against Islam, not Morsi. The U.S. administration has changed its stance from denouncing the Morsi ouster to accepting the new leadership, but calling for the release of the former president and a quick transition to democratically elected institutions. Observers say the U.S. remains an unpopular yet influential figure on both sides of the equation in Egypt. Yasser Hakim, CCTV, Cairo.